Hey everybody, it's a good day. Got a few things done. Loving these mid-October 80 degree days. Temperature is 80 degrees. Humidity is 56%. I have installed the combing. The combing is gonna have a screw about every four inches all the way across. I've installed this flag that works like a charm, smooth as silk. Uh, that's just something I made really quick. I'm gonna do this with proper paint. I've got a picture of an original B36 that's focused right on this, so I can trace this right off the screen and get that perfect font. It is going to be absolutely brilliant. Uh, all B36 parts, they're either stamped or somebody has taken paint pen or whatever they used and they've put the either stenciled or handwritten the B36 part number followed by the lot number. I try to do that on my parts just to give it that more authentic look. As you can see, I've placed this over the, the T18s. Let's go inside and have a look. I'm gonna be focusing on, before I get to the flight deck floor, getting the burlap bags down there to the floor where the fans reside. I didn't know this when I built this. I had no idea why these quarter turn fasteners were here. I barely even knew what a quarter turn fastener was <clears throat> over three years ago. But if you remove that single fastener from the front, this entire vent pops right out of there. So that's how they would have removed it to service it. They would have quarter turned that guy and he pops right out of there. Otherwise, he's not going anywhere. Gonna be taking a break uh, this week. I got a lot of eBaying to do, gotta make some money. I know, I know. But as soon as I get where I feel satisfied with that, I'm gonna get right back to this thing. Let's see if I can't have a seat. In here. There we go. All right, so here's this thing. A little reminder to my friends out there. If you guys restore anything military, anything vintage, keep an eye on your fonts. They didn't have windows paint back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Font back then looked more bold, more masculine. It didn't look like it does today. I see guys that beautifully restore airplanes, beautiful paint jobs, uh, ordnance, equipment. And what do they do? They go onto Windows Paint, they make a sticker, they plop it on there, paint it, whatever they do, but they never take into consideration, or I'm not gonna say never, but a lot of the times that the tragic restoration outcomes are you've got these modern fonts on antique aircraft. So that's one of my biggest pet peeves. It happens in museums and displays globally. But enough about that. This combing, I've beat it around, thrown it around. It needs to be about mm, a half an inch thicker so I can mount these plates here, which identify what these are. The plate right there, I think it says like Bombay 2, Bombay 1. It's like IFI or IFM Bombay One in flight monitor Bombay One. What not? Just uh, a lot of work to do on the combing. As you can see, it's it's broken here. But the good news is, is everything is exactly where it needs to be and fits perfectly. Have to get some weather stripping back there whenever I do all the work and get all the lights and the wiring back there. Just a lot, but. 
this guy, barely flick it, and it works. And what that does, again, if you haven't seen my previous videos, is it flips the switch. And that switch would result in either a red light or a green light. Over here to the T18s, uh, in the earliest pictures of the H models, there is a B36 or B36S, plural, that have this guard or fairing over the T18s. It's just a simple folded aluminum guard with marine vinyl on it, just like I did on the flight engineer station. Uh, the big debate that I'm having right now is, did they just go ahead and use the green that they used everywhere, every, I'm sorry, everywhere else on the airplane, back into the aft compartment? The floor is covered in this marine vinyl. The walls, uh, any place where um, there's human interaction, it seems that this stuff is, is utilized in the B-36. So I'm wondering if they, they just went ahead and used the green or they used black up here. Uh, you're talking about a miracle of getting a Keller picture, Keller color picture of an early model or an early B-36 with this thing here. <clears throat> the B-36 had a lot of accessories. It had, I mean, virtually unlimited accessories. They had covers for this, covers for that. There's, there's not a single thing on the B-36 that did not have some kind of a cover or accessory. Uh, if you look really hard at other B or B36 pictures, you'll sometimes see um, the canopy covered up with this really nice silver tarp that it, it's tailor-made for the canopy, uh, as well as the blisters, the bombardier glass downstairs. Just, uh, they had workstations that went over the turrets that inflated full of air. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I, I assume that as the program continued, this, this stuff was used less and less. Um, so it's, the stuff doesn't even exist anymore other than pictures. But if you want a, a factory fresh B36, like this is supposed to represent, would be H model, I would think that it would need that. And uh, I got green up there. It, it didn't take me very long to make it. And I think it looks pretty cool. But we might settle with black in the future if I can ever get some evidence or if there's a, a veteran out there who might remember sitting in this seat and seeing that up there. That would be great to verify what color that thing was. But as I said, it's a lot of details. Um, going to get the, the frames cleaned up, get all the details on there. And then I think next thing I'm going to do other than the burlap is there's a doohickey big box that lives right there that has to do with transferring the heat. Uh, that'll be a, a day or two project, but I'm going to get that on there. Um, then I'm going to get these guys, all these things in the plastic plates, just a lot of details. So, uh, that's where we're at. I'll see y'all next time.